Hey guys, welcome back. And first of all, I would just like to say that I hope you had the best Christmas ever. I definitely had a great time just relaxing with my family, which is actually why um, I'm coming to you very late on with the end of my Vlogmas. I um, was sat with my family, just having a great time, just being together and I decided to take a break from sitting in front of the camera which is why I still have my advent calendars unopened so I was so tempted to get inside them um, particularly my magical pin box UK to see what that limited edition pin is but I wanted to do it justice I wanted to open it up with you guys so I've sat on them and I've waited um, until I have an opportunity to to get back to filming for you so I have all of my advent calendars here to get through and then I've also got at the end of this video I'll show you um, the pin boards that I've made with the pins that I've got from these advent calendars. This will be my last video before the new year, um, I'm going to hopefully have a bit of a makeover, Christmas tree will be down, Christmas lights will be down, I've got a new, um, a new look for my channel in the new year so really looking forward to getting that going with you guys but yeah this will be my last video until the new year. So let's finish off these advent calendars and then we can start fresh um, next week. Let's start with a bit, oh actually, do you know what, marshmallows. So there are going to be a couple, um, there'll be the, oh I'm just on a pin, I thought that felt a bit sharp, where did that come from? Um, that must have fallen off my pin board, it's poking me in the bum. Um, yes, so they will be the 24th and the 25th that we have to open. So let's get in to our marshmallow one first, oh and it is my favourite, it is the salted caramel one. Just have a little nibble of this. Mm. I'll finish that later. And then for the 25th, we've got this big one down the middle. So I don't think this one is going to be a marshmallow. It says, Merry Christmas. Ooh. Wow. So what they sent is a chocolate spoon. Ooh, with a marshmallow on the end of it. So we've got this chocolate spoon and a marshmallow which looks like i think it's just i think it's just a plain marshmallow let's put these down and essentially it's like a fancy hot chocolate so it says to fill a mug with hot milk and gradually stir the chocolate spoon until the spoon has melted um and then drop the end of the um spoon that you've been holding on to into the hot milk and then continue to stir with a teaspoon and there you have it a perfect hot chocolate that sounds amazing in fact i'm probably going to do that straight after filming this video i have been super happy with this advent calendar i'll be on the lookout for this next year if any of you um, are interested it is the naked marshmallow company if you fancy checking it out i have been so happy with this so let's get into some pins we've got the um Disneyland Paris, now you've probably all seen these already, um, this is the limited edition Christmas bauble kind of um, advent calendar, I've got my Christmas tree all set up, just got a couple more pins to put on, so let's find, oh no it's just one pin, there isn't a door for the 25th on this one, I'm sure you've all seen what's in here and I have also seen some spoilers on the inside so I know that this is Mickey and Minnie, this is by far the best of the bunch. Oh wow, definitely my favourite pin. This is gorgeous. So rather than just a, a circle bauble, we've got a Mickey head shaped pin. And it's got Mickey and Minnie on there. Minnie is giving Mickey a little peck on the cheek. This is gorgeous. I'll be keeping this one definitely. I love it. And here is the back of the pin. So we've got the Mickey waffle and down here it says limited edition of 1000. Oh, I'm so happy with this pin. This pin makes a whole advent calendar worth it. I've loved this advent calendar more than I thought I would. Um, when I first saw pictures online of what it was going to be like, I wasn't too sure about the design. I prefer pins that have, you know, um, metal artwork with enamel paint inside rather than like a, a print, if that makes sense. Um, but this pin is gorgeous. I love it. 
quite an expensive advent calendar i'm not sure if i will get it again next year it was 150 pounds which was a little bit of a joke because it was 150 euros and 150 pounds i mean it probably does at the minute the way the pound is going but i think at the time that was a little bit of a scam because the exchange rate should have meant it was less than that but um yeah i'm not sure we'll see what they bring out next year if it's much the same i probably won't um but we'll see i probably will here we have the Zum Zum advent calendar. So we have two boxes here, 24th and 25th to open. Now we were getting the three Caballeros um, towards the end of last week before Christmas. So this is probably the third and final Caballero. And it is, is this the one that I thought was called like pistachio or something? Panchito. Oh, I love this. It's so pink. I love the color of this one. There is Panchito, and look at that gorgeous pink colour he's wearing. And then, finally, we have the Christmas Day one, and again, I've seen spoilers. This is the problem with being late, but um, I love this one. This is Goofy, and he's dressed as a Christmas tree. Oh my gosh. Look at that. How cute is Goofy? Look at him. He is gorgeous Christmas tree. He's wearing this fluffy green outfit. Oh wow, I love this. Now the finale, the Magical Pinbox UK advent calendar. So this is an advent calendar that's from a subscription service in the UK and they have done a, a pin each day which has been like a, an open release pin or a mystery pin and then the final one, the Christmas Day one, is a limited edition pin. I'm so excited to see what is in here. But first of all, let's open the 24th, which is in this white and red spotted bag. These guys have done an absolutely amazing job with this advent calendar. I've made a whole pin board of all the pins that I've got from their advent calendar, so I'll show you that in a second, because we'll have a couple more to add to it. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a Star Wars one. Okay, so I don't collect Star Wars. This will definitely be a trader for me. But it's on their own backing card. It is a Stormtrooper in the shape of an egg. I think this must be part of like a booster set or a mystery set. I've never seen this before. But there it is, our Stormtrooper. Yay, time for this one. Oh my gosh, I've been a whole month waiting for this. Let's see. Ooh. So the, this bag is different, it's got a kind of Christmas tree countdown on the top of it. So let's see what is inside. Ooh, okay. I'm seeing Peter Pan written on the back of it. It's on its original backing card. Oh, it's a pin trading event one. 25th anniversary for Disneyland. This is so cool. It kind of fits. I've got the Captain Hook and I've got the TikTok um, pin trading event. Not from the same year. This is actually my lowest limited edition pin now. It's limited edition of 400. Disneyland Paris, 25th anniversary. Uh, Once upon a star pin trading event. And there we have Pan on this grey and blue background holding a star which says 25th on it, I think. And then underneath here, we've got Disneyland. Oops, focus again. And then down here at the bottom, it says Disneyland 25. And then the best thing about the Disneyland Paris limited edition pins is that it tells you what number you've got. So I don't know if it's really coming out on there, but it says that it's limited edition of 400 and that I have got number 146. So, so cool. This advent calendar has been amazing. Let's get these two onto the pin board, get the Minnie and Mickey onto the Christmas tree, and I will show you the um, pin boards, pin trees that I've made through December. So first of all, I have got my Christmas tree from the Disneyland Paris um, pin advent calendar. So we've got all the different baubles all the way around the tree. And I don't know where I'm going to put Minnie and Mickey on here because it's quite a big pin. I really want to put it up at the top. So it's like the star at the top of the tree. Let me see if I can figure out how to do that. I can't really, but there we go. I've managed to kind of 
put them on the top but the tree has ended up being folded now but um how cute are Mickey and Minnie I love that pic so this will um, probably go in storage now until next year but um, like I say I'm actually quite happy with how this pin advent calendar turned out and now my magical pin box UK pin board here is the pin board with all the pins that I have got from this advent calendar let me add our last two on and then I'll take you through them so we've got the Stormtrooper one, I'm going to pop up here. And then finally the Peter Pan limited edition pin trading event one, I'm going to pop right up at the top of the tree. Okay, so here are all the pins that I have got from my Magical Pin Box UK advent calendar. Starting down here from the 1st of December, going along all the way up to the 25th. So here down at the bottom, and there we go. So I think my favourite of the bunch is probably, oh which way am I going, this one, the Ursula one, Little Mermaid one, that's probably my favourite. Let me know in the comments down below which is your favourite from this advent calendar. And while I'm here as well, I'll mention that the Magical Pin Box UK, if you follow them on Instagram or on their Facebook page, um, they have some discount codes for their boxes which are available, I think it expires the discount code on the 1st of January, so you've still got time to get in and get that. Um, I think they do like one-off boxes, they also do monthly subscriptions, so make sure you check it out. I'm definitely going to be heading on over there now to see if I can get one of these discounted boxes. Thank you so much to everybody that stuck with me through my first ever Vlogmas. This will be it now until January, but I hope you have a fantastic new year and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. So I'm now going to go make myself a hot chocolate and I will see you in the new year. Bye guys.